De Helen! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <That was> so... <laughs> my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kaylin Chase. I will be doing voiceover in this tutorial just because I get a little too focused when I'm doing makeup and when I'm doing Halloween looks, I really want to make sure that I can actually explain everything to you and it's not just like this hodgepodge of me just like talking about the most random stuff while I'm trying to share something with you guys while you're trying to get ready for Halloween. So without further ado, adieu, let's get into this tutorial. Starting with brows, I'm just going from the bottom and then working my way from the tail to the beginning, making hair-like strokes, and then just cleaning that up a little bit. To be the base for our eyeshadows, we're going to be using Fenty in shade 160. You can use whatever you have at home. I'm buffing it out with a brush just to have a little bit more control of where it goes, but you could also use a beauty blender. For my eyes, I'm going to be using the Fortune Palette by ColourPop, and I'm going to be going into Mo Problems, which is literally the exact same color as my skin. So since I have hooded eyes, I'm just going up above where um, my crease is and putting this color right up in that area. Right in between my brow bone and where my crease is. And then I'm just going to fan that out. Then I'm going to take a little bit of a Ben and I'm going to put that all over the inside. I like this because it's kind of creating like a Bambi color, you know? Just going back into a little bit more fortunate. We're gonna take a Neutrogena wipe and just very, very, very gently clean that up. And then we're going to highlight the brow bone with a little bit of Oracle from the palette. Using Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner, I'm going to draw out and then go back over on top and then fill it in. I think the thicker you go with this, the more doe-eyed you'll look. And I tried my best to get it as even as possible. Then we're going in with Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize in Star Gold. This is like a pot paint, and then I'm just going over top of my liner on my lid. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but whatever. Then we're going into Beach Bay. This is Tarte's Chrome Paint Shadow Pot, and I'm just putting that over top of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little bit more loose, but you could easily skip the Charlotte Tilbury and just go straight to this if you wanted. Just lightly touching up that liner and then we're going to go in with Strike It from the Fortunate palette and use a little windshield wiping motion to kind of buff that in. I'm just using a L'Oreal mascara just so it holds up my lashes and I will be using the style Corset by Kiss. For foundation, I'm using Fenty again in shade 160. I freaking love this stuff. Um, I really wanted this to have more of a matte vibe to it and I feel like Fenty just comes through every single time. Snatched. Look at that skin. Oh my god, I love it. Love Fenty foundation. If you have drier skin, you may not like it as much. Then using the shade 160 in the concealer as well. This is also Fenty and just buffing it out with my beauty blender. Then we're going to take a little bit of a Laura Mercier powder, you know, the OG of powders and we're just going to bake and brighten the crap out of our under eyes. Um, I feel like the brighter the better. So if you want to use Tarte Shape Tape or whatever, go ahead. This is the Pixi Sheer Sunshine Palette and I'm using Bare Glow to carve out my cheek and really bronze this up. I feel like the bronzier the darker the deeper you can get in with that cheekbone the better it's gonna be so I just went ham you can use whatever super bronze one you have but I mean regardless this palette is bomb if you're looking for a good drugstore palette definitely hit this one up then we're just gonna use bronze to go in deeper and then I'm carving out my you know I literally have zero collarbone until you know I contour the crap out of it so hello high snatch collarbone we love you okay so going in with the soft rimmel pencil liner this is just a black liner you can use the shadow if you want to and we're just going to take that halfway on both eyes and kind of connect it to the um, winged liner smudge that out and then we will go in with a different brush and begin outlining a little bit of a white doe-eyed thing i don't even know what it's called but we're gonna do it i also forgot to contour my nose so going with bronze on my nose and doing a harsh contour like harshest contour you've ever done i'm using the white morphe concealer and i love this concealer it's very pigmented but it does um fade a little bit so i like to do a couple layers and then i'm just buffing it out with a little round brush same brush that i used to buff out my concealer previously and i'm dragging it down my nose you know Trying to get that deer look vibe thing going. Going back in with Stargold to continue carving out that little eye. I want it to kind of fade a little bit. So that's what we're doing right here. You could use any brown that you have at home. You do not have to use this. I just think it's easier to blend a liquid or a pot color. 
taking a little bit of fortunate and then I'm just gonna carve that out and then use Ben to kind of blend it a little. Then we're gonna use Tarte Sea Glass in Sweet Life. And this is my favorite. This is what we're using for the lips as well. So I like to have that on hand. Um, I just took a little bit of Mo Problems and put that under my eyes and coating those bottom lashes with mascara. And then we're gonna take a tweezers or we're gonna take our fingertips and pinch together little groups of those lashes. I think three is kind of ideal, but pinching those together and then we're gonna take a liquid liner and then draw those lashes down even further just to give it kind of like a cartoon effect. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Peaches by MAC and then I'm going to add a little bit of glow in there. Using a NYX Liquid Suede and Alien for my top lip, you guys, this is such a bomb black liquid lipstick. If you're looking for one, I put it up against MAC's and Smashbox's, which are both great. And I think this one with the price point just beat them. So highly recommend. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of a liner and I'm going to draw. So it kind of has like this cartoon lip effect. For my bottom lip, I'm using that same Sweet Life that I used on my eyes to create that really pretty pop gold lip. Then I'm going to take that skinny Revlon liner and then I'm just gonna draw a little line for my little dear nose. The lipstick is so pigmented and lightweight that I wanted to use it on my nose also. So I'm just popping that on my nose and then kind of using a um, detail brush to smudge that out on the sides. And then I'm gonna get darker and then smudge it up so it kind of fades into my nose a little bit. I feel like it's cuter when it fades. I don't know why. I think that a deer's nose is pretty precise, but whatever. I'm using Sweet Life on the outside. I kind of just got this idea. I really liked it. I thought it maybe like added a little bit of a pop, but if you didn't want to do this part, you totally don't have to. I just thought it would make it a little more girly, a little more flirty, so I added it there. Finally, we get to do these damn pearls. I'm so excited. They're the easiest part of this entire tutorial. I originally started doing this using the lash brush, but then I quickly realized like I'm stupid and it's so much easier just to use the back of a liner brush and dip it into a pile of glue. It was so much easier. And then I'm kind of putting them on randomly in kind of the spots you would contour just so that this is flattering and not like super sporadic. Um, and I put all the glue on first because I wanted it to get tacky so we weren't like sitting here all night like dropping pearls for, <laughs> for days. Just taking the heat of my finger, I'm picking up those pearls and pressing them into that tacky glue. I'm using the bigger pearls on the outsides and using the smaller ones as we get in towards the face just to create a little dimension, if you will. I definitely don't think when you go to the other side you need to be doing the exact same pattern. I think if you can kind of put them in different spots, it actually is a little bit more flattering. Mm, yeah. So I had a last minute idea to add a few flat dots using that Morphe concealer. Um, I really wanted to add a little bit more dimension and I don't know, I just thought it would add a little bit more character to the look. So I used a small bent liner, the back of one, to create those dots first. And then I'll go back in with a little bit of a bigger brush and create some bigger dots as well. And I'm really just being like so random with this. Going down my neck, I'm just creating a few little dots just to kind of like frame the face a little. I don't know. I got a little carried away, I guess. Um, you could do that part or you don't have to. You could literally do all flat dots if you wanted with just the concealer, but I just wanted to add a little bit of a flare with the pearls, so I did. By the way, if you guys are going to do this, I highly recommend not wearing a necklace because when we put the flat dots on later with the concealer, it's going to get all over the place. And so those dots down there aren't gonna stay as cute as they will fresh. Little dots down by my necklace are going to get totally effed up here in a second. You will all see. All right, you guys, so last thing that I am going to do is add just a little bit of, oops, that's, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Bare Minerals Fierce Highlighter. It's this like really pretty Bambi-ish. Oh my God, my nail just ruined that. Well, whatever. We're gonna put a little bit of that on my nose. Ooh, and I just got a little bit of black all over my bottom lip, so I'm just gonna put a little more of that Sweet life on there. Back to the highlighter. And put a little bit right there. Now if I was smart, I would have put this highlighter on before, you know, I started um, dousing myself in pearls, but whatever, no big deal.
I'm going in and creating little brow hairs with the Bent Liner Brush using the Morphe Concealer. I thought that was a cute little touch. All right, so that impromptu brow completes my Bambi look. Um, there is really no way to keep the black from getting a little bit on the inside of your lower lips, so don't worry. It's the same with me as it will be for you guys at home. Um, one thing that I did do off camera was add a little bit of white to my waterline, and that's a about it. Hope you guys like this cutesy kind of flirty Bambi look that I did today. I know my last one was a little spooky, eerie, and kind of like a little scary. So I wanted to do something that was a little bit more um, approachable, I guess you could say. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe so that we can grow the fam. Um, also, if you hit the notification bell, you guys will know when I post my next videos. I don't know why subscribe does not just tell you, but it doesn't. So don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, tell me in the comments like what you would do differently. I did want to put like a different spin on this look, so I hope you guys enjoyed the um, mix of the you know, the white concealer with the pearls. I thought it kind of just added a little bit more of a flair to it. And it kind of just like gives it a little bit more of a unique pop. So yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. Let me know in the comments below how you guys are going to change this, what you're gonna do if you did it, or if you're just like gonna be a teddy bear and just take my hair idea, um, that would be cool too. I did this, honestly, I don't think I'll ever do a tutorial on this. It was a massive shit show so i am going to get out of here so i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye beauties